Hello perfect pasture seekers. Well I was just I just got off the horse after my little ride out at Stanwell and um, was heading back to the shed to you know unsaddle and was walking past a few piles of manure and I don't some people would have no idea what dung beetle uh, activity looks like but that uh, I think is a horse manure and it's been dung beetled, processed. I won't, don't think I can show you here, but if it is on pretty bare ground, which it isn't, that's still pretty fresh actually, you'll actually be able to see the holes in the earth from where the dung beetles have buried the dung. This one over here hasn't been well processed. It looks like it might have been just a sloppy poo. That's dried up a bit. But then I saw this one, which the dung beetles are still working on. So I have a close look at the earth moving. It's pretty awesome, hey? So those dung beetles are still getting into that. That must be a fresh poo, I'd say, from this morning or earlier on. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon, I think. Um, no, 5 o'clock nearly. So, I'm going to see if we can find a dung beetle. Oh, there's, there's, oh, there's a couple. So they're having a pretty good go at this. Yeah, that's pretty fresh. It's actually still warm. God, look at them all when you uncover it. I see them go wild. So there are ball rollers, there are barriers, and I don't know if it's a proper term, but there's also shredders. So they don't necessarily bury a lot, and they don't ball roll, but they shred. So that's what they've done with these poos here. They haven't buried it, but they've just shredded it. But it makes it much, much easier for it to break down, and quicker for it to break down. If they were to bury it, which we don't have any good examples for right here, there's usually only a tiny little bit of a crust left on the top. Here, looks like they buried most of this one. And you can, I actually saw this one last week. See, you can see the earth where they've kind of dug it up after they're buried, or while they're buried. So, if you're using any kind of ivermectin wormers on your horses or your cows, Ivermectin kills dung beetles. It kills them very, very quickly and it kills lots and lots of them. In, an, in a pile of manure like this, there could be up to 30,000 dung beetles. And so, you know, depending on what horse is supposed to pull about eight times a day or something, if you were to give them a dose of Ivermectin and they did all those poos, there's an awful lot of dung beetles you could kill. Um, so the, the safest one or the one that they haven't found any, um, you know, good or proven side effects is, uh, what's the name of it, it's an, uh, Cydectin, I just can't think of the other name for it, um, no, nope, sorry, going to have to get back to you on that, or I might leave it in the comments later, but any kind of mectins will kill dung beetles, or it will uh, make their uh, it'll stunt their growth or it will uh, stop their reproductive systems working. Um, here's the horses saying hello. Um, yeah, so it'll either kill them off or it'll stop them from being able to reproduce the ivermectin. And if you want dung beetles, it's best just to stop using any kind of ivermectins. And if you absolutely have to use ivermectins, it's best to use them in the middle coldest month of winter is when the dung beetles are uh, dormant because they are they dormant in the cold months and in the dry months up in Queensland. There are different uh, dung beetles for different climates of course so you get the cooler climate dung, dung beetles down south. Uh, there's only a couple of species of them I think there's only like two or three in Australia that are cooler climate dung beetles. Uh, the other ones are mainly tropical types. So there you have it. 
looks like they've just about buried themselves. It's gone very quiet in there, probably because I disturbed them. There's some in there. On this property, they actually have a fair few ball rollers too. If you go up and underneath trees and fence posts, you'll see heaps and heaps of balls just sitting there where the dung beetles have rolled them and, and planted them. When they do do that, they plant them in a, a place that's either shady or it keeps a bit of moisture for their, for their eggs to hatch a few months later. So there you have it, something different for this afternoon. Um, any questions about dung beetles, just leave me a message. Want to know more information, contact me. I do consults, uh, whether, it's a short, uh, whether it's a phone consult for about 99 bucks or a property consult for about, I think they're 250. horseutopia.com.au. See you later.